Step 11, select the range A4 to E10. So we're going to click in cell A4. We're going to hold our mouse and go to E10. So we're not grabbing weekly totals down here at the bottom, and we're not grabbing category totals. Create a stacked bar chart. So we're going to go to our inset, insert tab at the top of the course, the third tab over, and then we're going to go to charts, the fourth panel over, and it's asked us to create a stacked bar chart. So when you hover your mouse over, you see that bar charts are the kind of in the middle top, and you click that little arrow to the right, and we're going to go to more column charts, and we are going to select bar, and it asks us to pick a stacked bar. So this is a cluster bar, but over here, you can see is the second one is the stacked bar. Then you've got 100% stacked bar, clustered bar, and so forth. But it just asks us to select stacked bar. So that's our second choice above cluster bar. And then it says, we're going to click OK. Once we click that, we're going to click OK. Move the chart to a new sheet. Well, you can cut and paste and move it to a note worksheet. We are right now on the data worksheet, but we can also right click and move chart. So this is a choice. Once you've clicked on the chart, it will let you move it. And we select that, and yes, we want to move it to a new sheet. But look, it gives us some more instructions. Type bar chart for the new sheet name. So we want to say that yes, we want to choose our chart to be placed in a new sheet. And we want to call it a bar chart, which will make a second worksheet for us. And we say OK. And although it appears to disappear, it doesn't. Look down here. You had your data worksheet that you were on before and now it's taken that data that we highlighted and it moved it to a new worksheet called bar chart and that is the name for the tab as well as the worksheet name and that's the end of step 11. Step 12, have a chart title above the bar chart and call it November 18 weekly downloads by genre and I'm going to just highlight it so I can possibly do it a little bit faster but maybe not and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to click in chart title I'm going to highlight chart title and I'm going to go control V. You are welcome to just highlight and type November 2018 weekly downloads by genre. Apply bold font. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight my new title. I'm going to come back to the home. You can also do this in design. I just always go here. Um, I'm going to click bold and apply blue font color to the bar chart type. So I'm going to come over here to my font. And I'm going to click blue, which is this one. It will, as you hover your mouse, tell you which color is which. This is yellow. And I'm going to pick this blue. And that's the end of step 12. I'm going to save. Step 13, apply 11 point font size to the category access, the value access, and the legend for the chart. So let's start with a legend. We're going to double click our legend. And of course it brings up the format legend box and you're, you can make some changes here. Um, oops. I'm going to go to home. I'm going to go to font size 11, but I didn't highlight. So one second. Yes, I did. So once I clicked um, size 11, it changed that for us. 
but that was just the legend. So we're kind of going backwards. We're going to do the value axis now, which is where our numbers are on the X. If you were to look at an X, Y um, coordinate grid, your horizontal line would be your X. So we can double click that. And we can come back to home and go to 11. And you'll immediately see your numbers get larger. And we're going to come over here to the um, category axis, which it would be on a Y axis going up and down vertically if you were on your X and Y plane. We're going to come to home and I'm going to go to size 11, which may make it snug. And we're going to save. That's the end of step 13.